rolling as suicide bombers attacked two Egyptian churches during Palm Sunday services. Funerals are now being planned for the 44 people killed. More than 100 others were hurt. Egypt's president has declared a state of emergency, and police in our area are on alert as a precaution. CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear has more on the Palm Sunday bombings. The first bomb exploded as the St. George's Men's Choir was singing during Palm Sunday services in Tanta, Egypt. The live stream feed from inside the Coptic Christian Church suddenly went dark. Parishioners scrambled to escape. The blast caused major damage, destroying the altar and filling the building with smoke and debris. A few hours later, surveillance video from another Coptic Christian church in Alexandria shows a man with a blue sweater over his shoulders try to get inside. Security guards send him through a metal detector. Then suddenly, another explosion. A second camera in the church courtyard shows the power of the blast. Officials say the two bombs killed dozens of people and injured more than 100. ISIS is already claiming responsibility. Outside the church in Alexandria, angry crowds shouted no to terrorism. I was like, Mom, what's going on? And she's like, our church got bombed, our church got bombed. I was like, what are you talking about? And she's just hysterical. Gloria Labib is in dental school at NYU. She grew up right across the street from the beautiful church in Tanta. Members of her family, including her Aunt Layla, were inside when the bomb exploded, but all are okay. In response to the terror bombings, the NYPD stepped up security at houses of worship across the city, including St. Patrick's Cathedral, with counterterrorism teams and bomb sniffing dogs patrolling outside. Inside, Cardinal Dolan asked everyone to pray for the victims. Our Egyptian Coptic Orthodox brothers and sisters who suffered yet another terrorist attack in Cairo this past Sunday morning. The U.S. State Department called the attacks, quote, barbaric. Parishioners tell me they want to see more security at Coptic churches across Egypt. The president there did declare a state of emergency that he says will last for the next three months. Reporting from the newsroom, Brian Connie Bear, C